Did you ever see and try to compare any tech on the websites? Usually it is so crappy and Logitech is not the exception. Let's look at the screen, three keyboards here and for example, why I don't see anything here and here only iPads and where are the other devices with the other operating systems because this keyboard works not only with iPads, that's for sure. So looking at all this shit, comparison, I decided to do my own. I was very confused at first, but I got it and I will tell you all the differences between these two keyboards and these two mice. This is K380 and K380S. It is also called Pebble Keys 2. And this is Mysis M350, the older one, and M350 as the newer one. These are both compact and versatile keyboards designed for multiple devices. Logitech K380 and K380S are made for multi-device connectivity, compatibility with all possible operating systems, including Android and iOS devices. And I'd say that they are affordable, as it is priced uh, reasonably compared to other Bluetooth keyboards uh, with similar features. So we have four important uh, differences between these two keyboards and four important or oh no three important uh, differences between these two mice. Let's start from the simplest things, boxes and what's inside. It's very very easy here, nothing special, just keyboards with triple A batteries and manuals, very simple and even no USB dongles uh, and no charging cables. Of course there is no charging cables because we have batteries here. On K380 you will need to change the batteries every two years, 24 months and K380S is less gluttonous and you will have to change batteries here every three years every 36 months so we have one plus here Ka -ching! next let's talk about second difference k380 is made for max actually it is not only made for max because there is a version that is universal and made for all operating system and while i was editing this video i understood that i forgot to mention it so i'm mentioning it right now and k380s or Pebble Keys 2 is more universal and is made for different operating systems. Um, you can see the biggest difference is in the top row and the lowest row. Um, I'm talking here about the layout. It's very important and I'd say that it is better to buy K380S because it is more universal. Third point, if we go to the Logitech soft and try to go to the customization, we will find uh, that Pebble Keys 2 has 10 customizable shortcut keys. So you see, you can change here whatever you want. Uh, Logitech soft is very powerful. In K380 for Mac, only four keys can be customizable. So this is the difference between these two keyboards. And the fourth one very important thing that I want to mention is that K380S can be connected not only via Bluetooth but also with the newest Bolt receiver. But keep in mind that you will have to buy this Bolt receiver separately and it costs 14 bucks and I cannot say that it is very cheap. So as you probably understood K380 cannot be connected with the USB receiver. It can be connected only via Bluetooth. So what do we have? K380S or Pebble Keys 2 is better and the price is the same. So do not be fooled and buy Pebble Keys 2, this one. Okay, let's move to the mice. Here I will make it more simple. Older M350 is better than M350S only by one parameter, but I will tell you about it a bit later. Now I will talk why M350S is better than M350. First of all, with this M350S, you can work for 24 months, for two years on the same batteries. With all the M350, for, you will work for 18 months. Uh, it's half a year difference. I'd say that it's, it is a lot. Second, M350S mouse has capability to connect via USB bolt receiver, not only Bluetooth. M350 can be connected via Bluetooth or its own USB receiver. And third difference is that on M350S Logitech Flow is enabled. Uh, what does it mean? It means that you can copy different files from one operating system to another if Logitech software is installed on both systems of course. This is kind of cool feature that all the one M350 lacks. And I forgot to say that M350S can connect up to three devices, but all the mouse M350 can be connected up to two devices via Bluetooth and via its own USB receiver. But as I said, all the version M350 has one advantage because all the mouse has a USB receiver 
in the box. Yes, it is not a USB bolt receiver and even not USB unifying receiver, but I want to say that it's very good to have it if you want uh, really fast to connect almost to any notebook. So I think here choice is very easy. Newer mouse, M350S, has more advantages and only one disadvantage. With keyboards, I would also choose a new keyboard because it is more customizable. And but in reality, all of these products are very good. And you cannot even imagine how I like this magnetic thing that just pops in. And guys, if you want to see comparison between awesome other awesome Logitech keyboards like MX Keys and MX Mechanical, click here.